saw them in person, I related to the, the pencil lines. It was sort of this capture of reality. But really her paintings make me feel like how I feel in the desert. You just settle into the environment and it's like this completeness. It just shows this like oneness with nature. And I can relate to that because that's how I feel when I'm on stage. Paintings painted by the intellect are not artwork. It has to be by inspiration to be artwork. The lightness of her paintings sort of bring me to that space where I can completely zone into my own sphere. Dark. They symbolize like a, a real need to escape noise from every direction. I definitely relate to that. we've been working on together, but also work, music I've been making on my own is much more about just stripping it all down to, to, to create more space for the music and for myself. I, I gave up keeping house. And I have nothing to think about except painting. No responsibilities or words there. I've been trying to match her emotion since I saw the space. So I've sort of been trying to channel her a little bit because I can relate to the things that she rejected. I was thinking also a lot about meditation. I I cannot meditate in New York. Like it's always so busy and it, I'm always so stressed out and you know I've just been thinking, you know, how can I eliminate all the noise? And I think she did that very well. presence of all that space kind of leaves you no other option really to, to, to get in there and kind of think about why you have so much space and what it, what it means. You know? I think it's a perfect sort of comparison to, to the music that we're talking about.
like I desperately try to cling to ambient music to, to sort of relax. I feel like the more I immerse myself in that type of music, the more aware I become of subtleties. It starts to bleed into life. So we try to 